let's check your source for everything Vanguard related. A lot of ARG this week. Hi. To damage check your source of everything Vanguard related news, spoilers, tournament reports, meta analysis, everything like. I'm joined today with the Venezuelan Jank, Jorge Riviera, wants to see Chile in a bloodbath. Oh man, that's what? gonna be great. The Doombringer Griffin. I brought Doom this time. <laughs> well, I got it. And of course, the cat myself. So. He did not bring Doom. Oh. I did not bring Doom. Not today. <laughs> so, we are talking a lot about. ARG today, so um, we took a little week off talking about it just to see if any more news came up, but it was still kind of slim, but we got some. I, I got six. Know. Last week, we there was a huge ARG thing across the entire country. Yes. And we are going to refrain from talking about ARG Charlotte, though we loved it. We were there um, at Get Some Game, a beautiful, yes. amazing shop. They had free DDR, people. Can't argue with free DDR. <laughs> it was an amazing shop. We loved it. Um, we had a great time. But we're going to talk about that in a future thing, and you'll see it, maybe, you know, maybe you'll see it soon, I don't know. But we're all going to talk about it together, and it's going to be one big feature where we talk about the whole tournament as a whole. Um, Should we tell them the standings if they're curious? Yeah, I got the standings. Wait, wait, the standings about us? Yeah, yeah. I got the teaser. Yeah, he's got, he's got the teaser. So, ARGs, what do we got information on? I have New Jersey, Connecticut, Arizona, Wisconsin, Florida, and Charlotte. Oh, and that is buddy. certainly not all of them. That was not all of them. So we only got a few, but you love us anyway, so you forgive us for not having all the information. We're totally through totally something. But if you were in an ARG that we're not going to talk about here, please post your results and your uh, ARG's top eight in the comments. Please. Really, it's kind of hard getting this information because it just came from Facebook groups and so like official ARG kind of thing. So Yeah, there's no, no like Vanguard this. Pro. Yeah, there's no, no Vanguard Pro. There's no um, TCG player. There's no... Um, that whatever Yu-Gi-Oh uses, we're like, hey, there's a big band. Decks everywhere. No, not really. So, continue. So, all right. We're going to do this pretty quickly. Uh, shout out to Daniel Mcnowski for getting me the information on ARG New Jersey. Top 8 was D-Police, Aquaforce, Kagaru, another D-Police, Royals, Neo Nectar, Grapplers, and Royals. It seemed D-Police was coming in full force there. And Laura, yeah. man. Laura and Heavy, and heavy Duke. Duke. Get, oh, that's that's the player, get that bleep out of my face, man. That's the Onekta player, you know. We actually do have, uh, I have top three uh, results. I've got Aquaforce one whole thing with Kagero in second and Royals in third. So, Kagero's Maybe. still showing up for uh, at least one event here. Impressive. Um, Kagero, I'm happy. Shiny. Shiny. The ace. The ace. The ace. The ace. But uh, Connecticut was double Coco Susano, Damn. The Cross, Nova Grapplers, Brawlers, Abyss Revengers, All Mile Seekers, and Indra Narukami. <laughs> so, if you're that guy, tell me what happened, because I want you're a to ban <laughs> balls of steel on this Indra player. Okay. Like, I, this report is wrong. You know, thank you to Bart Andrioli for letting me know this. Indra uh, player? But you have the jank seal of Rubuo. <laughs> <laughs> but really, though. These guys, this one looked a little more crazy. We've got some OTT, and we had OTT as well. But uh, Extreme Battle is in the top with two Narakamis, one Shadows, a Seeker Royals, not Jewel Knights, and uh, I guess a standard of the cross build. Right. So, Arizona. I actually have the full standings on this one, so I'll tell you in order. We have Royals won the whole thing with Grapplers, Gear Chronicle, D Police. Great Nature, Narakami, Omega Lock, Link Joker, and Pale Moon in eight. Pale Moon? Pale Moon. Hey, I'm and another Jank Seal of Approval, everybody. <laughs> Them rogue decks are rogue. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I'm not about that. All right, Wisconsin is, I actually have the full standings again, or at least uh, top four. I've got Aqua Force won the whole thing with Nova Grapplers, Kagero, another Nova Grapplers, and then... Narakami, Grand Blue, Megacolly, and Kagero in 5th through 8th. Grand Blue! Grand Blue! Coming in clutch! Grand Blue! Them rogue decks so rogue. <laughs> How's that one guy? Aquaforce hey, still made it all the way in. Aquaforce winning multiple events. <laughs> I'm not surprised. It's coming in clutch. The Navy too strong. 
Hey, can I can't argue with can, that, bro. Can you put four dudes on the board? You would <laughs> can, can you can you turn si car sideways four times? Yes. All right, you win. Great. Good Good game, everybody. Such Our energy, Charlotte, was double Coco OTT, one Gear Chronicle, one Aqua Force, yours truly, one Shadow Paladins, oh my god, that deck was so good, uh, one Brawl and Arakami, the Braxton Express, uh, one Great Nature who won the whole thing, and Royals. So Great Nature it's winning the whole thing <laughs> with Leopold. Great Nature coming in clutch. I got educated. That man beat me in top eight. Uh, but that man put me out of top eight. Yeah. I got nine. But that, that guy, man was good. That guy killed everybody. Like, Great Nature is complicated, but when played with someone competent, damn. <laughs> yeah. I got I got mathed out by Xaxes. That was clutch. I saw that. It was beautiful. Anyway, anyway we'll, leave that, we'll leave that for That's another right. time. Um, Rogue Tops. So, Rogue oh, Tops. Oh, I got one more. Oh, he's oh, All right. Really? ARG Florida. The new good good coming in. Double Sin Buster Heavy Duke. One Gear Chronicle. One Aqua Force. Two Shadows. And double Sanctuary Guard Royals. Oh, that Saint Guard's so strong. Wasn't the Saint Guard top there, too? Uh, I don't actually know. I don't have the standings on Florida. Right, right, right. Another one that I got from another source was ARG Ohio, where half of the top eight was Sanctuary Guard Dragon. Woohoo! 25 so dollars, everybody. Saint Guard is coming. Dude, more expensive than the freaking trial that it came in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, go find the title deck now. Are you kidding me? Oh, uh, so. That's what topped. Um, we did what's notable. Rogue decks, Pale Moon, Grand Blue, Great Nature to some extent. Um, Everything got Fighters Collection support. Bugs! So you never know. Um, just a lot of Rogue things coming out of the woodworks. The Indra deck. So, deck. this leads us into our next topic, which is a topic of meta discussion. And, um, let's be clear when we talk about this. So... I don't want you to ju you like okay. I'm gonna try to not sound like a dick here. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard. So when we talk about this meta analysis, you gotta remember that yes, one reason I love these events, these types of energy events, is because it allows these rogue decks to become, in a sense, more prevalent. Because in an event such as Team League or Singles at Atlanta, that a Bush Road event where you have 200, 300, 400, 500 participants, even into the thousands, in the case of California, um, the Not best that. decks are going to be the best decks. But and when you drop down the sample size, these rogue decks have a much better chance of it, becoming it, more prevalent. It also becomes an issue of representation. Like, if half your field is a deck, then of course there's gonna be a number of them in the top eight. Right, right, right. Um, also, if you have more rounds, the chance of Vanguard vanguarding you. Yes, increases. I agree. Also, <laughs> it is important to remember, and I think I think we all experienced this in Charlotte to some extent. I think we call it right with the shadows. <laughs> that deck will get you. I think we play. I think I played three or four. Shadow Paladin players. Ladies and gentlemen, the course continues. They are his nemesis. He cannot uh, beat Shadows. I played a lot. He's a lot of Shadows. <laughs> More Shadows than any man should have to play against. But for now. <laughs> so what does this lead us into meta? What's meta now? Well, clearly Aqua Force. Yeah. I think that is good. evident. I think, I think. However, our meta is distinctly different from Japan. You know, Japan's coming from Aqua Force. Uh, Royals, and now since they also got the Shadow Stuff Shadows, and to some extent Link Joker, but our meta just got hit with the Legend deck and Fighters Collection on the same day. As well as the Trial deck with Joker, but that's to lesser Sure, that's, that's not quite out yet. We're not quite looking at that until GBTO 3. No, we're not looking at that till Like, the full extent of that deck, we're not looking at until the first real hits. Right. right. But I think we're actually in one of the most wide-open metas we've had in oh. quite some time. As far as Vanguard is related, I think absolutely. I would have to agree. Like, Turbo can, is a powerful deck. Navy is powerful. Shadow Paladins are powerful. Thanks to Busted <laughs> Laurel, Sin Buster's an option. Because of the Busted Stride, Bugs is an option as an anti-meta deck. Bugs is just beautiful. Your options are options. And options are good. So Options are good. This is a good thing. Let, let us remind yourself that in America, people will play what they like. That's true. Like, you will not be able to convince a man 
to not run what he loves, no matter how hard it is. Angel feathers everyone. In Japan, people will mostly gravitate to what's good. It tends to happen. They're a little more used to competitive card games than, and say, we are. They, they want to win consistently, and if they what they play, it's what they feel they would most like to win. Well, then you have a a bunch of meta, and then that comes to Asian representation. If you have a bunch of a deck, then chances that the tops increase. When right. there's two good decks in Japan, you will see two good decks in the top. You're not going to see that many rogue things in Japan, but here we saw a lot of stuff. Yeah, Great Great Nature, things. Overtake, all of the meta decks entirely just win a whole event. And to some extent, the thing is, what, what that makes you want to do is that means you have to be prepared when you play here. Oh. You have to be prepared for everything. Because I'm willing to bank dollars and donuts, not to say that that Great Nature player wasn't great. I am sure he was no. a fan. I'm sure he was a great player, um, but maybe to some extent, maybe the, the Shadow Paladin, because the Shadow Paladin player be also killed him. Also killed him. <laughs> so like, the Shadow Paladin player was great as well, so in some sense, maybe what it boiled down to was battle experience, where the Great Nature player had seen Shadow Paladin to some extent before, I doubt that that Shadow Paladin player had played. I'll tell you, I haven't played against Great, New Great Nature. It's disgusting. So I don't know how to play against it. I mean, and I don't think you did either. It's, I mean, it's still Great Nature. <laughs> I did my best. <laughs> no, 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 take um, um, I mean, there's no, there's no better way to, to explain that point than bugs. Like, if you're not prepared to face bugs, you're going to die. And horribly, horribly die. Yeah, like the Shadow I had some baddie. Drop a grade three on the field against me, and that kills you. So you have to be prepared for every single possibility in this meta because somebody will play it, and then you will like, why is this sorcery? Why am I dead? Why am I dead? What is happening here? Why am I facing Coco when it should not be, and then it kills you? And then you're dead. And then you're dead. So it's really hard to talk about the meta right now. It's we can talk about how the meta is about to change. Um, I think we'll save that for maybe as as we see some shifts happening. Um, it yeah. So let's let's hold this conversation because I think right now the meta is busted open yeah. and we don't know what's going to yeah. prevail when the dust settles. It, it also depends on something we don't know, which is the generation rare distribution in the boxes of GPT or three. It that influences the meta a lot. I love your screensaver, Brian. So moving forward, spoilers, praise. We might have something here. Pray. So, um, first things first, we're going to talk about Sword Boys real quick. Mm -hmm. I like them. The art, beautiful. The, the crossoverness, great. The skills, interesting. The skills, interesting. Look at Rick 3, I'm a fan. Um, However, are they just don't know if we're going to get them here. We hope they do. Hope it would be not. great. But we don't know. And until we do know, we're not going to introduce them into discussion because, like we say, we try to think. We When we talk about overseas stuff, we talk about it only as an anticipation of it coming here. And how it looks like to play here. Um, until there's like a, you know, until we know it's coming here, there's no use in talking about it. Is it good? Yes. But does it affect our meta? Absolutely not. not. So, unless Pusher just goes, hey, you can play Japanese cards now, then holy. But you know what does affect me? I'm in a colony grade one that stops oh. my units from restanding. From restanding when oh. it goes on the guard circle. That's Goodbye, stupid. Guys. Cutter wasn't yeah, dead before. Cutter, you had a good run. Sad. You had a good run. Oh man, that is just beautiful. So, all right. So, if you don't know what this card does, it says it basically stops restanders. So, so, so it's, it's a Guinevere that stops restanders. So, here's the actual test: when this card is placed in the guard circle, choose one of your opponent's vanguards. That unit cannot stand for until the end of turn. It's a six K five K shield. Now, what this actually does, it says. Hey man, cool ace, bro. I'm gonna just stop it. So for those of you wondering whether you should run four bro. ace or two, the answer is now two. <laughs> you should only have two ace now. Sell them. Uh, yeah, I mean, big plasma. Sounds like a plasma. It stops a Kuba, dude. It stops a. Um, it stops a bis. It stops, it stops a bis. Oh man, the stuff in that bis is just stops the cross. Stops the cross. Stops the great. Stops, stops the great. Stops no turn. Wow, these all sound like meta cards that are kind of important. Stops Minerva. Yeah, you also um, give Minerva. Also, the promo. Okay, moving on. It's Boston. The it's bug card is Boston. So it's it's yeah. Yeah, the necessary for Mega Colony. Yeah, it helps out a lot. <laughs> I mean, it makes well, me hopeful yeah. for the Mega Colony support because if it's as Boston, this promo, damn. 
I hope I wouldn't count on it with that kind of power coming in. <laughs> so moving forward, real quick. Uh, also, the promo, other promo cards that are good that I thought so. Um, the Gear Chronicle one was meh, uh, but I we Deep Police finally got their Generation Break One yep. 10K booster. Uh, I'm a fan. It's about that time. It's about the time. Everybody, gets one. Everybody gets one. Everybody gets one, and there and now you get four Laurel, you get Heavy Duke, and you get a 10K booster. Phrase. Nothing like riding, legioning with Simbuster one turn, dropping this dude somewhere in between, and just killing somebody. So, next up, we have a Genesis promo, which is quite sweet. Yeah, what does the Genesis promo do for So, the Genesis promo is happening. Let's take a Generation Break 1, 7k. When did you need boosts? Soldiers 1. That's it. Not bad. Not bad at all. This unit works on anything. Now, Jorge, in the realm of Angelics. Oh man, we got two things. Go ahead, two quickly. Two things. So we have a G2 Generation Break 1, grade 2 9K that says, whenever there, whenever you call something from your damage, you may counter plus 1. If you do, call this card from the damage and then put the top card on your damage on face up. Basically, if you have a Daniel, you call the Daniel, then you call this field, and you make a field. It's great. It's just all the good things. And my favorite one is we have our Celestial Limit Break Enabler. <laughs> the dream's alive, boys. The dream is alive. I can have 3k whatever I want on everybody. On oh, the man. board! Oh, no, no, we no, just play Ramio Reverse. The best one, the Ramio Reverse. Turn 3, just go boop, 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 boop. You don't have a field anymore. Bye Makes bye. me cry a little bit. Bye bye, Lambros. Well, <laughs> <laughs> bye bye, Mega Colony. Oh, damn. Get wrecked. So. Uh, there is one last important news that is of incredible importance, mm -hmm. and that is that the Car 5 Vanguard single tournament has been announced. Wish Road has announced it. So I guess, is it called Spring Fest? Uh, it's World Championship. Wish Road World Championship. Uh, the World Championship. But whatever um, it says, I just want deck box. So much good stuff, I think. One, I love the Attack on Titan map. Oh my god, the Attack on Titan uh, for That's for the Vice Tournament. You should right? all buy a Vice Sports <laughs> deck. <laughs> oh, open the starter deck. Write it down on a sheet, <laughs> play around one, and then drop. <laughs> hey, I don't even know how to play these sleeves. Do you need sleeves? I think you need sleeves. Buy, buy some sleeves. sleeves! Take them off your bias cards and then put them on your Force of Will deck. That's all you gotta do. <laughs> <laughs> really? And then get yourself a sweet Attack on Titan, man. Dude, that Attack on Titan might list. Yeah, I'm, I'm a fan. Can you buddy fight players? And I like the buddy fight man, too. It's really cute. It's really, it's really nice. Plus you get those promos. Sometimes yeah. those promos are worth stuff. Um, the manga promos, though. The Vanguard promos are Link, Link Joker players. I am oh. so sorry for you. Then, isn't it Hot Stand too? No, that's not Hot Stand. The other card is Hot Stand. The, 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 the Shadow Pile. Uh, Link Joker players, your 7k booster that unlocks something gets 4k and it's amazing that you need 4 of your deck. It's a promo. You're now, you're now Neo Nectar. Enjoy it. Get it right. Uh, I guess we'll just wait until GBT05 rip Flower Screen. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, <laughs> Flower Screen is reprinted. Uh, We're for, sorry. For those that spend $25, $30 per Flower Screen, you bought it from us. What <laughs> 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 is Whoops. So, um, in, uh, but back to the, the tournament, uh, like six places in the US, a little bit more I think, uh, all around the world, you know. Um, Costa Rica. The Vanguard well. mat is really nice Costa too, Rica I actually like it. it. Um, the promos are nice. Uh, we don't know any tournament regulations, here's hoping best of three. Yeah. Um, I think maybe it's a possibility since they haven't announced it right now. Most important thing is September 12th? Something like that. September 12th, September, um, 12th Atlanta, Atlanta will be there once hey. again. Rubbing that Atlanta blood. Again in the Sheraton. Um, Stay in the Sheraton. Again, we should just buy a membership at this point. <laughs> so, we have a membership now. <laughs> oh yeah, we do. So, that's everything from us. That's Damage Check. That's us. We'll see you here next time on Team Absolution. Don't forget to like, share, Stick subscribe. Stick around for button. videos.